What's going on guys, Dr. Brute 7 signing in back with another PlayStation 3 jailbreak tutorial video. This is about the homebrew app which will totally upgrade and enhance your PlayStation 3 experience. This is called the PlayStation 2 Classics Vault, powered by PKGI. PKGI is the vanilla version of this homebrew app. This homebrew app just got updated last month, so if you have any previous versions or vanilla version of pkgi installed it's time for you to uninstall it and then install this homebrew application we're going to get into the installation process in a little bit it's very straightforward let's talk about the features and the awesomeness that it brings so you'd be able to install playstation 3 games as you can see there is a mixture of all the playstation 1 2 and 3 games not all of the games are available in the library i will talk about that when i will show you guys and talk about the installation process right after installation you're going to meet with an error message so that's nothing make sure that your playstation 3s are connected to the internet and obviously they your ps3 needs to be jailbroken and be running custom firmware if you want to know how to jailbreak your playstation 3s i have a video for that links in the description or you'll find it somewhere right now okay so right after installation of this application, if you just need to refresh the title list, it's going to refresh the database, the list of games and everything is going to just show up. After refreshing, you're going to end up with this screen. Now look at this, there's a huge list of games. Now it's a bit different than PKGJ on the PlayStation Vita. So I have a tutorial for that as well. If you go under the content section and press on X, you're going to see the DLCs of the games themes that you'd be able to download you'd be able to download demos updates for the applications any homebrew applications or the games and stuff like that if you go into emulators now this is something that i'll be covering on a separate video emulators obviously you'll be able to download the emulators now, running them is a whole different aspect would be able to get a variety of applications as well however the one thing that i have noticed is that there are no subsections for playstation 2 or playstation 1 games in order for that to show up you just have to go to the search bar and just type es2 hit on enter you're going to get the list of all the playstation 2 titles that are available to download hit on x and it's just going to start downloading you can also do the same here but with the ps1 games hit on start you will get all the playstation 1 games that are available to download not a lot of games that i am seeing here we can try refreshing the list but i don't think that's going to add in more games and yeah once you clear up the list you're going to get access to all of these mixture of playstation 1 playstation 2 and playstation 3 games okay so once you're on the xmv menu you're gonna head over to package manager playstation network content and you're going to see the downloaded from through the application so it will say install the package file just go ahead and hit on x and it will start with the install games that are not included obviously you know how to add those games to then i've already showed you guys through the multi-man video you can just check that tutorial out all has been completed so we're going to start the game up so this content has a time limit this is nothing if you do receive this message all you have to do is just change the date and time settings and set via internet and start the game no sir and there we go oh oh damn controls are inverted control there we go now we are able to play this properly oh okay i, I wasn't even a part of this this was the ps2 classics vault homebrew application and very updated and advanced version of pkgi so i'm going to just step into the pc show you guys how to install the application all right i'm gonna see you guys on the pc all right so we are on the pc you're going to go to the link in the description and download the latest version of playstation 2 classics vault which is version 1.31 updated on 1st of august which was last month you're gonna download the pkg file plug in your usb drives and paste the pkg file to the root of your usb drives after after you're done transferring the package file insert the usb drive into your playstation 3 and then from there 
head over to package installer and you'll be able to install the package file now the latest version of this free store already has all the prerequisites included like look at this it says no playstation version 3 included and everything has been included and updated as unlike the vanilla version of pkgi where you have to include the links of the stores or any kind of other prerequisite so do not try to install this application alongside the pkgi vanilla version because that's going to create some issues it's already included on the post it says if you have the vanilla version of pkgi installed it is highly recommended to uninstall that version before installing this you'll encounter issues remove that and then just go through with the installation process in order to avoid any complications regarding the adding of the games you're gonna have to request for that to happen you can you have to join their reddit and also you're gonna have to support them on patreon patreon members have access to download games to their pc also priority gaming request fulfillment and a dedicated patreon flare to our subreddit well that's a privilege they're doing an awesome job so if you're selling out a couple of bucks say your thanks for what they're doing so yeah along with saying thanks you're also getting access to game request feature so you go ahead and do that so they're doing a lot for the community and that's it this is how you install the latest version of playstation 3's free store on your jailbroken playstation 3's if you found this tutorial useful make sure to drop in a like and subscribe Stay tuned for more awesome contents. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to join me on my live streams. I have been doing live streams quite frequently. And yeah, we can hang out and have a chat over there. And yeah, I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Dr. Brute 7 signing off. Peace.